So what about that Galaxy Unpacked event? Did you watch it? Because I did. They had some pretty amazing stuff on show. And there's a few things I really liked and a few things that I thought, eh, it's okay. So let's get into it. Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert. And before we get started, I just wanted to ask that if you have been enjoying my content, I would sure appreciate a thumbs up and like on the videos. Uh, it definitely helps the old YouTube algorithm know that you've been enjoying my content. There's been a lot of great activity, and so I really appreciate it. But let's get into this Galaxy Unpacked event. I'm not really a foldable screen guy. I will have to say that the new Z Fold Flip 6 series are pretty nice devices. I really, really like the screen size on the fold. I have a hard time really putting my faith in a foldable screen. My son-in-law has a Galaxy Fold. I think it's a couple years old now. And he's had to replace that screen like three times. Once, I'll have to say it was due to damage. I think his kid tossed it on the ground. But twice, it was just because the screen failed. Uh, one time, it had a, a definite line down the center. And another time, half the screen was looked like an old school television. It was just like all lines and crazy. So I just really have a hard time putting my faith in a foldable screen. I do think the technology has merit and I do think it's gonna get better. And ultimately you'll have some fantastic foldable screens. I just have a hard time believing in it right now. But the devices look pretty amazing. I like the specs, the hardware looks fantastic, the framing. So I think they did a good job with all of that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna have to probably wait maybe another year or two before I'm even considering a foldable screen. That being said, I can't wait for the S25 series launch in a few months because I definitely plan on upgrading my S23 Ultra. So, but on to the other things in the uh, Galaxy Unpacked event. So the Galaxy Ring. Now, while that's a really cool piece of tech, again, I have a hard time justifying a $400 price point for that device when my watch can pretty much do the same thing. I'm sure there's some advantages to having the ring, but to me, by what I read and by what I see, I don't feel that the advantages outweigh the cost. $400 is a lot for that device. Yeah, it's got a, you know, seven day battery, which I guess is pretty cool. Uh, I assume we'll have some kind of, you know, wireless charging device that you set it on or something, but I don't know. I, I just, I guess that's again, one of those things I'm going to have to wait and see exactly once people start using it, you know, how well it works, exactly what it does and kind of get some input on that. It is a cool piece of tech. Again, it's just something that I don't think is really up my alley yet. But now on to the new watches. Now, that's something that I'm definitely into. And as you can see, me and my wife both, we rock the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It's been a great watch, fantastic. Battery life is like two days for regular use. Screen looks great. It's well protected. This has the titanium frame and I just had zero issues with this device. So I was actually really hesitant, like, eh, I don't think I'll upgrade. But as you're gonna see, <laughs> if you take a look at that right there, you can see that I just bought a Galaxy Watch 7 for $3.55. <laughs> yes, $3.55. They gave me a $250 trading credit on my two-year-old five. That's pretty awesome. My wife, she decided to trade her five pro in as well. Now she went with the smaller 40 millimeter, so they don't give quite as much for trade-in, but she still paid 39 bucks. What? $39? It was too good of a deal not to upgrade. One thing I do like is it appears that the actual size of the watch frame is smaller, but the screen is a little bigger. So I'm actually looking forward to that. The only thing that I'm a little hesitant about is the fact that this whole screen is exposed. Yes, I know it's got grilling glass and all that great stuff, but it's been my experience. That if it's gonna scratch, it's gonna scratch. But with the Watch 5, it's got this like ridge right here and it protects the watch. So like if you bang it on something, 
more likely you're gonna hit the frame, not the not the glass. So I don't know, we'll have to see, but it looks fantastic. Screen looks great. Um, I wish they had a few other color options, but I don't know. I chose the green because I kind of want to change things up. It's a nice, really dark color green, looks good. So uh, both mine and my wife's watches will be here on the 24th. So you can definitely look for a review and an unboxing on that. So you'll definitely want to hit that like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can catch the alert when that comes out because that's going to be a pretty cool device, I think. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that. My Galaxy Watch 5 Pro has been stellar. So I'm really hoping that I have not made a mistake in upgrading because I have zero issue with speed, battery life, screen, usage. I mean, I have zero complaints about this watch. So I don't know, we'll see. But again, for $3.59, or excuse me, $3.55 plus the $39 for my wife's watch, how can you go wrong, really? You know, I could sell both watches and make a profit. <laughs> you know? I'll have to say, one thing that Samsung does an amazing job with is their marketing, their advertising, and their pre-order promos. They really want you to buy their stuff in pre-order. And I'm really hoping that when the S25 series comes out in a few months, that I get a phenomenal trade-in value on my S23 Ultra. So I don't expect it to <laughs> spend three dollars and fifty-five cents, but uh, I'm hoping to get a really good trade-in value on it so I can do that upgrade uh, because I'm really looking forward to that. So yeah, the Unpacked event was really cool. I really like the tech. All of the AI features are awesome. And I can't wait again to get my hands on the S25 Ultra paired with the new Galaxy Watch 7. Um, I think it's going to be pretty amazing. And, you know, when I get the Galaxy Watch, I'll be able to test some of the AI features and functionality on the watch and uh, kind of see how that works. So really looking forward to it. Pretty stoked. Um, so, yeah, I'd really love to know in the comments what you thought of the event and what your opinion is of the devices. And if you picked something up in their pre-order or you plan on ordering something, I think the pre-order promos and discounts end at the end of today, um, which is Saturday the 13th. So you want to make sure and uh, go grab you something if you haven't, so you don't miss out on the promos. AI, you'll definitely want to go check this video out here, which kind of goes over some really cool AI transcription tools that might come in handy for your content creation. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.